I'm going to be short and sweet with you this week. Boy, oh boy, we've got a show for you. Hi, I'm Henry Washick. Welcome to another great episode of Fishing Hotspots. You know, I have traveled the world, and I'm going to show you some of the best locations, in fact, the top 10 international fishing destinations for some great fish, big ones at that. Stay tuned. Fish and Hotspots with host Henry Waschuk is brought to you by Boston Whaler, the unsinkable legend. Live Target, lifelike lures. Mud Hole, your one-stop shop for rod building and tackle crafting needs. And Sunset, sun and bug protection. This week, we bring you a totally unique and exciting show featuring some of the greatest catches while traveling the globe. Host Henry Wozchuk has journeyed to more than 30 countries and has caught more than 120 species of fish. But today's show will be special as we feature the top 10 international fishing hotspots, not in any particular order. That will be your job to pick our favorite destination and you win a free fish and hotspots cap. So stay tuned as this show is jam-packed with lots of great action from the most spectacular fishing destinations you could imagine. Coming up, the Hot Spots countdown begins. There you go. Look at that beautiful rooster fish. Fish and Hot Spots is brought to you by Snapper Up Chum. Non-frozen, ready to use. Get more snapper with Snapper Up. There are so many resorts and lodges around the world that provide incredible fishing experiences. Some of them rustic, others five star over the top, but they all have one thing in common, fabulous right, fishing. Go. For our first three picks, we've selected Mexico's Pacific, Mexico's Caribbean, and the Cayman Islands. We start off with Mexico's Pacific, and in particular, a small, quaint fishing village called Punta Mita. It's here we've experienced the most incredible topwater rooster fish action ever. The specific location is right in front of Puerto Vallarta. It's called Banderas Bay, where hundreds of fish chase sardines to the surface just like piranhas. And it's here where you can catch 40 to 50 pound fish on every cast, just like this. Oh. Looks like we got another big one on. Oh, oh yeah, look at the fins crab. out of the water. Look at that. Come on, fish. Woo -hoo. I tell you, they are powerful. <laughs> you saw the boat. Come on. Oh, baby. Oh. No. <laughs> tell ya. Trying to get getting close to the boat. Straight oh, down? Right. Oh, yeah, he's, he's right straight down. Now, Sebastian, these rooster fish, they are schooling this crazy. I've never seen it before. Is this normal here? Uh, during this time of the year, completely, yes. My uh, goodness. Every time the water gets cold, the sardines come in from the north and, and the roosters are following them <laughs> every season. Well, you know, I've, I've fished rooster fish in many different areas, but I've never seen them school up like this. Ooh. Oh. There wow. he goes again. I tell you though, they just all fight like those, the Jack family, all on their side. And, all right, we got the leader. Oh man, I'm glad you're doing that, not me. <laughs> all righty, nice. baby. I'm gonna try to grab it and, uh, and hold him up. Ah, there you go. Look at that beautiful rooster fish. Gorgeous or what? All right, gonna put him in the water. Oh. And that didn't there take long. 
Sun lovers have heard about Cancun and Playa del Carmen for years, but just south of Riviera Maya is a place called Punta Allen, and the fishing grounds are known as Ascension Bay. The shallow water flats are totally amazing. Here you can hook a grand slam with multi-species all in one day. From sizzling bonefish to head-shaking snook, fearsome barracuda to the wily permit, this hotspot has it all. Oh yeah, all right. Good job coaching, Thomas. Oh, this guy is smoking. Look at him go. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Look at that. Smoking that reel. Wow. I tell you what, here. That's the one thing about this Grand Slam Fishing Lodge. I, I am, not that I am telling you that this is the greatest place on earth, but I tell you, it's pretty close when you have such a variety of game fish. And I mean, and they're all good size. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna pick up line here. Oh. Ascension Bay, if you're wondering where we are. <laughs> What a fighter. Wow. Just incredible runs on these. Wow. One thing I tell you, your biggest task when you come to Grand Slam Fishing Lodge is this. You got to have enough rods rigged up, ready to go. I mean, you got snook and tarpon and bonefish and fly rods, and I'm like, wow, what a fish. Hey, Mr. Permit, slowly coming in. All right, good landing. Get these rods out of the way, so. Good job. <laughs> There's a good fish. Hold this way, this. Yeah, there you go. Thomas, way to go. <laughs> awesome sighting on that fish. Good solid permit. Well, and you talk look, about a fight. Look in the right, in the right place. Look oh, look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Our next hot spot is none other than the Cayman Islands. Whether you want to troll offshore, fish the various reefs, or wade the shallow water flats, the fishing is truly amazing. If you like trolling for barracuda, you'll catch as many as you want. They're big and ferocious, and sometimes they'll attack their own. But there's nothing like catching a big one while wading in shallow water. Oh, man. Oh, nice. Look at him run, run, run. Oh, look at this. God, oh, this is unbelievable. When you get a barracuda in the shallow water flats, I don't know how he's hooked there, but he's a good sized fish. I got to get him on this side. It's bad enough. With, you can see I'm standing a lot of these coral edges, and this is just right out here, out there. It's very, very tough. And He got him off of that reef. He was right on top of the reef. Yeah. Now he got him on the flat. You might okay. get him in now. I'm getting on this side of this coral. Try to get, this is really sharp. You can see this shadow right here. Look at this fish. I'll bring his head up. Little short little leader that I had just. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful fish. <laughs> I gotta get my glove on. Give me one heck of a fight. Oh my goodness. Look at the head on this guy. Now, are you ready? Because I'm gonna hold this baby up. Look at the size of this head. <sighs> Look at that. Is that awesome? When you get out here in these shallow water flats, you never know what you're gonna catch. Coming up, four more international hotspots. Oh man, this is a big, big trigger. Fish and Hotspots with host Henry Waschuk is brought to you by Motor Guide, trolling motors engineered for anglers. Our next four hotspots are also amazing. Starting with the country of Brazil, then up to Costa Rica, then Belize, ending with the beautiful Bahamas. So here we go, the hunt for the beautiful peacock bass. Top water action like you've never experienced before. Luxury motherships. Trophy fish after trophy after trophy. Definitely a trip of a lifetime. 
Here in the Amazon, you need to make long casts and work the bait hard. Nine times out of ten, you'll hook Mr. Peacock. And when you realize it's a big fish, your heart pounds and your breathing increases as you fight the power these fish exert. All you think about is, please, don't get off. He's getting close. Finally, in the net, and now you can take a breath. Laugh with the joy of success all around. What a beauty. Costa Rica's Pacific Coast continues to produce a variety of pelagic fish species and big ones too. But the Caribbean side of Costa Rica has some of the finest tarpon fishing in all the world, right at the mouth of the Rio Colorado River. Big fish! Okay. Woo! That's a big fish right there, bud. It's run, 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 run. 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 Oh! <laughs> That's a big fish. There it is, man. There he is. Good jump. Wow, he took some line. He's way <laughs> out there, man. Oh, God, running. Oh, that's a big fish. That's the biggest one we've had yet. Oh, oh right at the surface. He grabbed some air and he's he's off and running. <laughs> Baby. Here's coming up. Look at the big side. Fish. Look at the broad. Oh, oh. my God. Oh. Look at that. What a monster. <laughs> look at how broad their shoulders are here. All right, Billy, look at the size of this fish. It's a big one, man. Oh, Look's wow. Good. Oh, God. <laughs> that. Come on, baby. Oh. Come on, Billy. All you got right. him? Oh. Oh. Those head shakes are so intense. Another great fishing destination is Belize. The fishing area covers over 200 miles of coral reefs, caves, and islands, with the second largest barrier reef in the world. Here you have a massive number of fish species, including bonefish, tarpon, barracuda, and permit, and so many other species. Let's watch Henry battle another unique looking fish on the flats. All right. He's gonna head for the ocean. I'll try to oh, turn. Oh yeah, he probably will. I'm gonna try to turn him back, right? Oh, Pops is trying to get out there. He's oh, gone, no. boy. Out in the ocean. This is unbelievable. This is what we're talking about. Working fast. All yeah. the struggle you have with these fish. Or he's on the coral. I can feel him. Way out there. Oh, man, this is a big, big trigger. I'm trying to keep him out. I don't know if I can. That wave's just going to hit him there. Come on. Stay back. Come on, baby. Come on. Barking in the rock there. He's on that coral again. Oh man, he's fighting right there. He wants to go out. I'm trying to hold him back. He's running and I'm holding him in that surf. Oh man, I can't believe it. Pops, I think he's ready. Look at this fish. Oh man, it's such oh. a beautiful fish. Oh. oh man, look at that. Oh boy. Is that a beauty? It's like it. Oh man. Now you talk about now he's lightened up. They're so dark. Yeah. They're almost like a charcoal color. And they get under stress, they bleach right out like this. That's actually the color of the fish, that right on his cheek there. Look at that golden eye. Without question, the number one fish in the Bahamas is the silver ghost, Mr. Bonefish. There are more than 30 islands that you can find a lodge or resort to fish for a few days, and Henry and his team have fished almost all. 25, in fact. There you go. Right. There you go. All right, look at those fish. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Beauty. That is so, and the sun's just coming out. And that's what's so unique when you're fishing like this in big schools. That fish is fighting in the school itself. They're moving together. I wish they've been mudding here. And All right! Oh, here. no! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Look at all the fish. This is why they love to bonefish. Anybody comes down and... This is a 20-minute flight from Florida to Grand Bahama Island, and you can catch all these bonefish you want. All right. He's nothing like it. Wow. 
Look at this. Look at this bonefish. Yeah, that's a big Billy. one. Billy. <laughs> I said, that whole school is probably the same size. This guy's about ready. Look at that. All right. I'll tell you what. They pull like I've never heard line go before. Oh, wow. Oh, there's there's a good chunky wow. bonefish. Beautiful. Definitely. <laughs> there you go. East End Lodge bonefish. All right, little. Let him get some air and swim away, buddy. All right. Let's get beautiful, another one. Beautiful fish. Oh, Mr. Bone, there he goes. Watch him disappear. Coming up, the final three world class hotspots. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Oh, my goodness. This portion of Fish and Hotspots with host Henry Wozchuk is brought to you by Mudhole, your one-stop shop for rod building and tackle crafting needs. Our final three hotspots include a small island in the Kiribati Republic near the equator, Panama in Central America, and Guatemala's Pacific Coast. There's one noted island just before the equator, about a five-hour flight from Honolulu, called Christmas Island and we've caught monster barracuda there. Hundreds of bonefish as well. But there is one fish that is stronger and more powerful than all those fish combined, and its name, the giant trevally. Here's a fish that not only looks tough and mean, it is. Sometimes it's a group of six or seven fish on attack. Other times you'll have a school of 30 to 50 fish on attack. Just check out how aggressive feeders they are in shallow water. They love to strike lures on the surface, and it's probably the most exciting fishing you can experience. Make long casts, work the plug, and then just hang on. You're in for quite the fight. The reward? A great photo and a release. Panama means abundance of fish in the Indian language, and this country certainly lives up to its name. Home to more world fishing records than any other place in the world. From offshore to the inshore reefs, there are a number of big fish caught each year, just like this. Yeah, come on, that's come got on. some shoulders. Ah, he's giving up too easy. Come on now. All right, I like it. I like that technique. It's got a few years of experience in there. <laughs> Going good, 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 yeah. There we go. No, I get no set, that's it. That's got some shoulders to it. Yeah. That's working good. Good job. Oh my God. It's amazing, you know, when you have a fish on it, people don't really talk too much, you know? Yeah, come, come on. Come on, Sean. Come on, <laughs> tell me what it's like. It's a big one. <laughs> At first, Everybody I, says that. Think of something new. That's a big. That's all you do is catch big fish. I don't think he knew he was um, hooked at first. Oh, is that it right? hadn't occurred to him that he was hooked. Now he knows he's hooked. You got him. Uh oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh yeah. Now. Now. The good. There we go. Okay, we see him. Looks like an almaco. No, 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 no. What no. is it? I can't see it. Snapper. Big snapper. Woohoo! Look at the size of this fish. Look at this. Big cabera. Big, Big Cabrera, beautiful. Look at, got him? All right, look at that. Okay, you step over here, man. Here, look at this. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now there's a snapper. Whew, those are dog canine teeth right there. They're notorious for that. But man, that is truly a beautiful fish. We weighed it. It's about almost 45 pounds. Catch. You get to sit down the rest of the time. You know that. Awesome. <laughs> I'm good now. Beautiful fish right here. Without a doubt, Guatemala's Pacific coast has the most fertile billfish waters in the world. When lodges boast 100 plus sailfish releases in one day, it's not just great fishing, it's insane. So exciting to see those fish coming up with the bill. Man, good job, Jason. That Islander is getting a workout. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, yeah. Again, again, again. Oh, shake it, shake it, baby, shake it. All those jumps, is that amazing or what? How could you not be super excited? Casa Vieja, 
What a lodge. Where are you going? You're not going to Costa Rica, are you? <laughs> God, what a fighter. <laughs> this guy's sounding. Come on up. Come on, baby. Come on up. Come on up. We're just going to look at you and let you go. Come on up. Look at that fly. What a little, what a little glutton, you know it? Yeah. All right. Look, there's another one with her. Is there? Yeah. Wow. Look at him. Look at that. It's coming up. Coming up. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Oh, my goodness. All right, Jeffrey. Let the, get the leader. Look at the other fish with her. Well, hopefully, we can get a friend over there. <laughs> All right. He's got a wrap. All right. They got it. All right. Ready for the release. That's a beautiful sailfish, Henry. Yeah. That is a pretty one. Pretty fish, lit up. Yep, anytime. All right, Good baby. job. You got it tagged? Yeah. All right, ready to go. Ah, baby. Look at that. Awesome. What a beauty. Yeah, baby. How about those world-class fishing destinations? All 10 of them, they were totally awesome. You know, you gotta definitely put at least one of them on your bucket list. Hopefully you enjoyed each and every single one of them. I'm Henry Waschuk. Hey, we'll see you next time on another great episode of Fishing Hotspots. So now it's your turn to pick your destination. And if it matches ours, you'll receive a special edition Fishing Hotspots cap. Check out our Facebook page for details. To all our guides, captains, resorts, and of course you, our fans. Thanks for watching and supporting us over the last three decades. Closed captioning has been provided to you by Gasparilla Marina. Fish and Hotspots with host Henry Waschuk was brought to you by Boston Whaler, Live Target, Mudhole, and sunset. Oh, hey, nice. nice! Look at that. Look at the size of this fish. Beautiful.